Hello and welcome to a new series I'm going to be starting about uh, military from all ages. And today's item that I'm going to be showing you is a Boer War bayonet that's been converted into a World War I trench bayonet. Now, what's really fascinating about this item is the amount of stamps and markings on it, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first, I'm going to take away the bayonet frog, but we'll take a look at that later. We're going to take a look at this knife. You can see there's usually a ring on most bayonets, which is no longer exi not, which is non-existent now. Uh, it is no longer there. You can see that it's been ground down. Uh, usually, a bayonet ring would serve the purpose of attaching it to the muzzle of the firearm. Uh, there is also no longer, as you can see down here, right there where my pinky is, it is no longer has a button, and that button would serve to attach it to the actual rifle. It is no longer there, so you can no longer use this as a functioning bayonet. Uh, you, it has also been cut off, uh, cut down, excuse me, uh, from its original size, which would have been about one and a half foot long. And you can see here that it's also well marked. You can see here that those are the World War I reissue stamps. But you can also see here that mark is the mark of Queen Victoria. You can see it says 04, 09, 07. And that means it's been reissued and inspected in 1904, 1907, and 1909. Now, what's particularly incredible about this is somebody has taken the time to cut it in half uh, to about an 8-inch blade. And then what they've done from there is they've sharpened it and made it into a World War I Bowie knife, which is much better for trench combat, particularly stabbing or just kind of, uh, kind of just skirmishing in an enclosed space. Now, another thing that I find just fascinating is the way they've actually ground this blade down. Uh, they've ground it down in a really rough fashion, uh, so it's obviously not somebody that's an expert in actually making knives or anything of that sort, but they've taken the time and care to actually attempt to make this. Now let's take a look at the bayonet frog. This bayonet frog I've oiled very well, so I should be able to show you this without damaging the item. I lift this up, you can see it's part of the sole of the shoe. Now what's incredible about this is they've actually turned a sole of a shoe and they've sewn two of those together and they've made this bayonet scabbard. And they also made this bayonet, and they've also made this belt loop here so you can attach it to your combat belt. And it's just a fascinating, uh, it's just fascinating to sh see the ingenuity that was uh, going on in World War I. And you can also see that this is not uh, sewn with uh, like a sewing machine per se. It is actually has some rough stitching. You can see somebody took time and care to do it, but they weren't particularly masters at their craft. You can see there's the stitching kind of goes up in places and some of the stitches have fallen out. That's most likely due to age, but it's they obviously took time and care to make this knife. And I'm just really happy to show you this item and to share it with you. I believe that's the end of this uh, particular segment, but hopefully next week I'll be coming back at you with a new item from behind the vault. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment.